How y'all doing? Hakeem Williams, uh, straight at high school, I play wide receiver, class of 2023. Uh, I have 34 offers at the moment. Welcome to Sports Muse. Straight cash, homie. is going on everybody welcome back to another episode of the sports muse i am your host kevin brumley and i have a very special guest on the other side uh he is one of my favorite players in the 2023 class uh, he is big he is tall he is fast he can catch any kind of ball and it's hakeem williams hakeem how you doing today man i'm doing good how you doing i'm doing pretty well i appreciate you taking the time so uh let, let's go ahead and start off with this can you tell me a little about yourself uh i'm nice in person but on the field i'm mean <laughs> I'm 196 at the moment uh haven't ran a 40 yet but i'm pretty fast as you know uh uh i blew up i started blowing up january 1st okay new year's yeah no so which is funny because the the first thing i wrote is i always try to give the people at home, you know, the, the fans of a, their favorite college team that has offered you that's watching this um, to kind of give them a, a quick kind of biopsy of, of who you are. And when I watch you, the first thing I wrote is, I don't know what your 40 time is, but you can flat out fly. Uh, you eat up the cushion quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, the second thing, which I think is more important that I notice about your game is you're very, you have a, a very good short area quickness, which is rare for a tall receiver. Um, usually tall receivers have that straight line speed, but as far as the cuts in and out of their breaks, that's what they struggle with a little bit. Um, but you actually excel in that area. And, uh, the third one is your, your attitude slash confidence is you bring this energy, this passion, um, that I personally love because I, I love seeing that kind of thing, man. As somebody that enjoys playing the game that, you know, they should enjoy playing because they don't have to play it. Um, so I think you bring all those things in, you bring a lot of energy, you bring obviously tremendous talent. So I'm going to ask you this, you know, what is, what is the thing that you think you do best? Uh, on the field, uh, I'm just going to go all out. I'm going to go hundred percent every play to make my better. And I love that, man, because, you know, there are some guys that, you know, take plays off and I've never seen that with you. That's never been the case uh, of a guy who's like, ah, I'm not getting the ball this play. Let me just kind of take it off. Your guy that you fight for every extra yard, you go up for every jump ball. Um, and I think that's why you have 34 offers right now. You know, the coaches see that and they love that kind of stuff. Who are some of the guys you'd like to study? Uh, DK Metcalf, um, Devontae Adams because of his route running, uh, Chase Claypool. Yeah. So let me, let me ask you this because it's funny, but, uh, who do you compare your game to? Like, if, if somebody asked you, like, who do you play like, who would you say? DK Metcalf. So it's funny. One of the guys you said, I put Chase Claypool. Like, that's who I thought you play like. And because I was I was watching your, your film, and I was trying to figure it out because I'm like, I don't really – because you play different. Like, you know, you're not the traditional long receiver like uh, an A.J. Green um, who's not necessarily super quick in and out of his breaks. And I'm like, man, who's a guy who's like – a juiced up athlete, you know what I mean? A plus athlete who can make all the kind of catches. And I'm like, honestly, it's probably Chase Claypool. And so that's funny. You said that. Um, okay. Now let me ask you this, which is always an interesting one. Uh, you're a Florida guy. Um, has there been an offer that you've received so far that's kind of meant a little bit more than the other offers that really kind of like made you be like, wow, like I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I can be something special. Yeah. My first one, Miami. Yeah, the U, baby. I love yeah. it. I love it. Is there any others that have really popped to you? Uh, Alabama, um, Oklahoma, Oregon, uh, Georgia, Florida, Florida State. 
And those are all great choices, man. The rumor is for the 2023 class, uh, Oklahoma might snag Malachi Nelson, my guy. So that'd be a, a pretty good duo. You and Malachi, you go to the U, play with Jake Garcia. I mean, it's a win-win situation. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how is your recruitment going? You know, you have 34 offers. You don't, I mean, you're just getting ready to start your junior year. You have plenty of time, but uh, is there a, a time frame that you plan on dropping a top school list or making a commitment? Or are you kind of still unsure? Uh, my last game of my junior year, I was going to drop a uh, top 10. Oh, I like it. I like it. So this fall at the end of the season, expect a top list and then uh, kind of go from there. I like that, man. And let me get you this before I get to rapid fire questions is, you're a guy that I've mentioned 34 offers. Uh, you're, you, you're really, you know, I've never heard a bad thing about you as far as character issues. Um, what advice would you give to a young athlete? Because there's a lot of people that could take a lot from your game and even off the field uh, that they could benefit from. So, you know, what, what advice would you give to a young athlete? Um, just keep working. Uh, people don't see what you do behind closed doors, but they'll definitely see when it's time for you to put out. Uh, your life could change at any moment. As you see, like, I started blowing up January 1st, so just wait your time. It's coming. I like that, man. I like the idea of, you know, we live in a day and age where, like, social media is huge. And you're right, man. The the great ones don't have to do it in front of an audience because all that work that comes on Friday, Saturdays, Sundays – all comes behind closed doors. Those are that's what's in the gym. That's what's on the field when no one's watching. And so I, I absolutely love that advice. I couldn't agree more. So rapid fire questions. First thing, what's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time would probably be Radio. Oh, that's a different one. Okay, okay. Uh, favorite food. Favorite food. I like steak and mashed potatoes. You have a favorite kind of steak? Uh, T bone. T-Bone, classic, classic. Um, give me your top three receivers of all time. All time, Randy Moss, Chad Johnson, and Julio Jones. You're not going to put Jerry Rice on there? I never I watched him play. <laughs> I love Randy Moss, man. He's my he's one of my favorites. That's, who, that, that's a signed Patriots helmet right there is Randy Moss. For real? Yeah, it says straight cash, homie. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? A lion. Lion. I like it. King of the jungle. If if you could meet any celebrity, what celebrity would you meet? Uh, any celebrity, I would want to meet Barack Obama. Oh, that's a really interesting. I think Barack Obama seems like a great person. Like, forget about like what he's done for, you know, the world, not just the U.S., but like he seems like a, a real chill dude. I like Barack Obama. Yeah. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, hidden <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what's considered a hidden talent. Uh, what, what's something that you're good at or you like to do that uh, people don't know? I can build a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's yeah. uh, that's a talent. Absolutely. I like that. Yeah. Favorite sport that isn't football? Basketball. You play basketball, right? Yeah. What position? Forward. Okay. Who do you think is going to win the NBA Finals? My team's out. So I'll, I'll go with the Suns. The Suns, yeah, man. They're looking pretty good. Lost the last Suns. night, but they're looking good. Suns are the Bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a huge Giannis fan. I love CP3, so I'm I'm hoping it's Bucks Suns in the finals. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah. Um, Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. I feel like PlayStation's overtaking Xbox, man. <laughs> it used to be Xbox for everybody. Now yeah. every time I ask that question, everybody's saying PlayStation. Yeah, I used to have Xbox, but now no, PlayStation. Everyone's yeah. going Sony. I like it. Uh, favorite hip hop artist? Hip hop. Artist, uh, uh, Polo G. Okay. All right. Um, recommend me a TV show. TV show? Either All American. I love All American. Or Money Heist. I haven't seen Money Heist. I, I keep thinking about watching it, and I, I'm going to have to start that right. one, but I love All American. Great show. Yeah. Um, who is somebody I should have on the show? On this show? Yeah. 
athlete? Yeah. Omar Graham Jr. Omar Graham Jr. Okay. All right. I'll take that into to consideration. And uh, last one. Who is your celebrity crush? Ooh, who you celebrity crush? I'm going to go with... Uh, oh, my God. Uh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't even know. I don't even know who I'll go with. That's fine. I get Brad, a lot of Zendaya's. Um, uh, the real Kylie, Kylie sister. Okay. All right. We'll take that. <laughs> hey, man. Um, I appreciate you taking the time. I know you're a busy guy out there putting in the work. Um, I'm sure you're taking some visits and whatnot and, you know, checking out some school. So I appreciate you taking the time. Please go show my guy some love. Follow him on Instagram, Twitter. I'm telling you, great dude on and off the field. Tremendous player. Watch his film. I mean, he, he can show you so much of what is possible for a, a big framed receiver. So again, man, I appreciate you guys. If you like the show, click like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Yes, sir.